Hi, my name is Father Jonathan. Most of you will have met me before. I'm the vicar at St Gabriel's Church, just down the road from the school. You'll know it because it's got an enormous tower and quite a lot of you walk past it every day. And in normal times, I'm in school once a week doing lunch duty on a Monday and so on around who you can talk to and giving assemblies at times like this, Easter and Christmas. But I'm sorry I can't see you today, but I've been asked uh, to record an, an assembly for Easter and I'm really grateful for that. So I've brought you into St Gabriel's Church while I can so that you can see something of the building here and I can talk to you about this great Christian festival. This has been a really surprising year, one almost unimaginable. Who would have thought a year ago that most of us would be carrying hand sanitizer around in our pockets, that we'd have face coverings for every occasion where we went into a building, that we'd have to be distanced from each other, that people would be made redundant, that people would be using food banks who hadn't ever imagined having to use one that there would be so much loneliness and so much grief. It's quite hard to imagine anything different now, to imagine a different world. When Jesus was alive, he talked about another world which he called the kingdom. He called it the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven. And he used to describe it, he used to give these kind of images. And it was a place where the least important people suddenly became the most important. When those people who were forgotten were remembered, it was a place where children were particularly special, even more so than adults. And it's a place he describes as where love reigns. But you know, there's only a certain amount of time you can get away with telling people who are powerful that they're not really powerful. And over time, he wound people up who were in charge. And in the end, they put on a mock trial and they executed him like a common criminal. And he was silenced. And the world seemed very dark to his family and his friends, very much like the last year we've had, full of sadness, where it's hard to find any hope where you wonder if anything that he had said was true. And three days after he died, on Sunday, something no one had ever imagined happened. People saw Jesus and he had been raised from the dead. And suddenly all this talk about another world, another kingdom, they wondered if that was true, because he could talk about a world beyond this world, a heaven that he had experienced and come back to tell us about. I want to show you something now in this church that most people never get to experience or to see. It's something really exciting, something that is hidden and concealed. Here is Jesus reigning in heaven with all his friends in gold around him and with angels with incense. It's just one idea of what heaven might be like. For people of faith, there is a belief that there is a world beyond this world, that death is not the end of the story and Jesus being raised from the dead on the day we call Easter is the day we celebrate that, that there is something beyond now. But for Christians, it's more than that, because heaven isn't just a place after we die. Heaven can be experienced on earth. You and I can make that experience happen. And it happens in how we treat each other, 
how we treat ourselves, how we treat the planet. You can make so much difference to someone's life if you do something kind for them, if you smile, if you think of them. You can do so much for this planet if you respect the environment. So my challenge to you as we approach Easter and as you have a break from school is how can you bring a bit of heaven to earth this Easter? What small thing can you do to make others feel loved or make yourself feel loved? I wonder if you could just pause for a moment and think about that. And I'm going to end with a prayer. Thank you, God, for the gift of Easter, for light, new life and hope. Help us to bring heaven closer to earth today and every day. Amen. Whatever your tradition, uh, whatever your faith, I hope you have a wonderful Easter. Have a good break. Say hi to your teachers and uh, you might say thank you to them for all the commitment they've made to teaching you and being there. And I can't wait to see you, hopefully in school, next term. Thank you.